Hi, uh, my name is Jane Treadwell. I'm the university librarian at UIS, and this is Jean Wilkins, and I'm the president of the Friends of Brookings Library at UIS. And we're really happy and excited to announce that Rebecca Sklute, author of The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, is coming to Sangamon Auditorium on November 9th. We've been looking forward to this, Jane, and we're hoping that we're going to be joined by many of you, your family and friends, because through um, some successful grant uh, getting, we are offering Rebecca as a free evening to our Springfield community. Yeah, uh, in addition to uh, securing a grant from the Illinois Humanities Council, we uh, have a partner with uh, Memorial Medical Center. They're uh, helping sponsor the event, and it's also an ECHE event for our students. This book has received so much publicity all over the world. Um, we actually have been working with Rebecca and her representatives for over a year trying to bring her here to the campus and to this community. Uh, the book is a worldwide bestseller has a lot of application, um, I think, in all of our lives, and we are hoping that many of you will join us that evening. Um, the way we became excited about it as the Friends organization was, Jean had read the book, and she suggested that I read it. She actually said, you must read this book, so I did, and I thought it was uh, just marvelously written and uh, such a captivating story. And actually there's a local interest story here because at one point in her young years Rebecca Sklute and her family lived in Springfield for a while. Her father I believe was working for the Bureau of the Budget in state government. He is an author as well and he and his daughter Rebecca have collaborated on some writing projects. So there may be some of you watching this who knew her father Floyd Sklute and we hope that that may stir some interest in, in the Springfield area. Uh, Rebecca Sloot became interested in uh, Henrietta Lacks when she was in high school. She discovered uh, the HeLa cells. She found out about the HeLa cells, which is what the cells were called that uh, were taken originally from a biopsy of Henrietta Lacks. And, uh, she spent 10 years researching this book. So it is kind of like a detective story and kind of uh, a story of her uh, getting to know the family and uh, securing the trust of the Lacks family who uh, had, had some not so good experiences with um, the medical community. I first heard Rebecca Sklute in an NPR story, and she was such an engaging speaker um, that it caused me to go find the book and read it. And I'm looking forward to her presentation here because uh, she's a dynamic speaker. She has a lot to tell us um, in this area of medical ethics, and her very dynamic interest in the Lacks family and her continuing interest in them, actually. So um, uh, we're looking forward to her appearance here on November the 9th. Yeah, if I could just read something from the book, it kind of gets to the heart of the matter. Uh, the Lacks family has suffered greatly. This family is, like so many others today, attempting to grapple with the many questions and the moral and ethical issues that surround the birth of Hela and the death of Mrs. Lacks. The questions of whether or not permission was received from the donor or her family for either the use of HeLa worldwide or the mass and commercial production, distribution, and marketing of Mrs. Lack's cells, and whether or not scientists, university and government personnel, and others have acted ethically in these two areas or in their interactions with the family. Other social issues arise also because Mrs. Lax was an African-American woman. So that sort of gets to the heart of some of the um, questions that are dealt with in the book. Um, and in the, in the end, uh, you come away 
really uh, maybe with more questions than answers. Yes, exactly, Jane. And uh, another reason to join us on November the 9th and hear uh, Rebecca's Skloot's presentation. We hope to see you there.